two identical uniform spheres A and B. Rows without slipping along two horizontal surfaces at the same speed. They each approach an incline. Sphere A rolls without slipping up an incline, and sphere B goes up a frictionless incline. Both inclines have the same angle and are tall enough so that the spheres do not go over the top. Compare the maximum height reached by the two spheres. Explain briefly. Sphere A goes higher than Sphere B. Sphere A rolls up the incline without slipping, so we can have conservation of uh, mechanical energy because uh, there's friction when the Sphere A goes up the incline, but that's uh, static friction. And this static friction does not do any work. It does not take any mechanical energy away to turn it into heat. So the mechanical energy is conserved. When sphere A is at the bottom of the incline, there is the kinetic energy, the translational kind, and the rotational kind. At the maximum height, it's a turning point for the sphere, so the V becomes zero, and since the sphere is rolling without slipping, that means that if V is zero, the omega is also zero. So at the maximum height, there is no kinetic energy. There is only mgy. So this will be the height sphere A reaches. For sphere B, there is no friction to take energy away, no friction to do work to turn mechanical energy into heat. So we also have the conservation of uh, mechanical energy because there is no friction. At the bottom of the incline, rows without slipping, so the sphere has both the translational kinetic energy and the rotational kinetic energy. At the maximum height, we would have mgy, the maximum height for b. Now, because there is no friction, that means that there is no torque acting on the sphere. No torque, no angular acceleration. Therefore, there is no torque to change omega. So the sphere has to keep rolling at the same omega all the way up because omega has to be a constant. No torque to change the omega. Therefore, at the maximum height, the sphere will still be rotating at the same old omega. So we still have one half i omega squared there. And these two are the same. Which means that for sphere B, when it goes up to the maximum height, only the translational kinetic energy, the one half mv squared, is turned into the mgy. While for sphere A, both kinds of kinetic energy are turned into mgy. So sphere A goes up higher than sphere B.